Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Jim Carley and I'm one of the past masters of Nagley Lodge and I would like to say that it is certainly an honor for us to be asked to be here today and to conduct a service for our dearly departed brother. The eternal God is in your dwelling place and underneath are the everlasting arms. God is our refuge and strength, a very pleasant help in times of trouble. I am the resurrection and life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet he shall live. And whoever so lives and believes in me shall never die. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we give thanks for all those near and dear to us who walk in your light and in whose lives we have seen your light. Help us to rejoice in the memory of the life we have known and to look forward to an eternal reunion with him. Give us comfort for the sorrow in our hearts that having your wisdom and in your never failing care, draw us closer to one another that we may find consolation and draw us closer to you that we may know the light and the comfort of your presence for the rest of our days. Amen. So <clears throat> the sonic record of Brother Leslie Allen Murphy. Brother Murphy was born December 19, 1950. Initiated into the Masonic fraternity on July 24, 1986. Passed to the degree of fellow craft October 2, 1986. And raised a Master Mason on November 11, 1986. This was all done at Hoffman uh, Lodge, number uh, 633, Alabama. He became a member of Na uh, Nagley Lodge September 5th, 1995. He passed from this glorious celest to the glorious uh, celestial lodge above June 30th, 2022. Brother Murphy was a member of the Masonic fraternity in good standing for 36 years. Brother Murphy was a zealous member of the Masonic fraternity and discharged his duties faithfully. We knew Brother Leslie Allen Murphy and esteemed him highly. His death is deeply regretted by the wide circle of brothers and friends. The members of the Nagley Lodge, number 565, appreciate his worth and our loss have adopted the following resolution. Whereas the Supreme Grand Master of the Universe has in course of his all wisdom province seen proper to call time and to eternity our beloved brother Alan Murphy, thereby sundering the earth tie that binds us all together, man to man, friend to friend, and brother to brother. And we who survive him have assembled together as Masons to pay him last bid tribute of our affections with uh, the solemn rites of the fraternity and further testimony of our love and esteem and the deep regret for this loss, both as man and mason, whereas that while we remember the ability and the firmness and the charity with which he served his lodge, we praise the fidelity with which he discharged the duties in every relation. <clears throat> Reading from the books of Psalms, chapter 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He let me rest in the field, green grass, and lead me to quiet pools of water. He gives strength, he guides me to the path, as he has promised. Even as I go through the deepest darkness, I will not be afraid. The Lord, he is with me. The shepherd, broad and shaft, protects me. You prepare the banquet for me, where all my enemies see me. You're welcome to me, the honored guest, to fill the cup of brim. You know that it's your goodness and love that <coughs> the love will be with you only in life. Your house will be at home as long as I live. From the book of John, chapter 14, 
Do not worry and upset, Jesus told me. Believe in God and believe also in me. There are many rooms in that Father's house and I am going to prepare the place for you. I will not tell you this if you were not so. And after all, I go and prepare the place for you. I will come back, take you to myself. So we can, will be there, and I am. I know you are on the way to leave the place where we're going. If you love me, you will obey my commands. You will ask the Father and give him another help who will stay with you forever. He is spirit will reveal the truth of God. The word cannot receive him because it cannot see him or know him. But he knows him because he remains with you and is in you. When you go, you will not be alone, left alone. He will come back to you. In a little while, the world will seem no more. But you will see me. And because I live, I also will live. When the days come, you will know that I am in my Father, and that I will, and you are in me, just as I am in you. Peace that will I leave you, <coughs> it is own peace I give you. I do not give it to the world, do. I do not worry and upset. Do not be afraid. I hear, see, say to you, I'm leaving but I will come back to you. The lambskin, or white ap apron, is an emblem of innocence and the badge of amazement. It is more ancient than the golden fleece or Roman eagle, more honorable than the star and the garter. Let its pure and spotless surface be to us as an ever-present reminder of the purity of life and rectitude of conduct. A never-ending argument for nobler deeds or higher thoughts for greater achievements. And at last, our weary feet shall have come to the end of its toilsome journey and from our um, nerveless grasp shall drop forever the working tools of life, may the record of our life and actions be as pure and spotless as this fair emblem. And when the trembling soul shall stand naked and alone before the great architect throne, may it be the portion here from him who setteth judge supreme, let the words, let the words, let the welcome words well done, good and faithful servant. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. The acacia, or evergreen, is an emblem of immortality in our fraternity. By this, we are reminded of the high and glorious destiny beyond the words of shadows, and that there dwells within our tabernacle of clay and imperceptible, immortal, immortal spirit over which the grave has no, uh, no dominion or death no power. Thus, we, we close with the solemn thought of death, which without rev revelation is dark and gloomy. But the evergreen and ever-living emblem of immortality the acacia teaches us to look forward to a blessed immortality in the great hereafter. <clears throat> My brothers and friends, we are gathered here to pay our last office of respect and love to our departed brother, Alan Murphy. We sincerely and affectionately sympathize with friends and relatives who are deeply stricken at the loss that they have all sustained. May God look with infinite compassion upon this family in its hour of sorrow and loneliness. And may he fold his arms of love and protection around those who put their trust and confidence in him. 
In our Masonic fraternity, we have labored together in search for eternal truth. We know that on this earth we cannot achieve its perfection, but we are assured that so long as we seek, so shall we find. Our brother Murphy, who labored with us, has gained immortality. He has found that for which we all seek. Why, while we sorrow at his parting, we rejoice in, this, in the victory he has gained. May our loss serve to bring us nearer to God, the giver of life. In the true spirit of our craft, let us surround the memory of Brother Alan Murphy with the broad mantle of a Mason's charity, and may we not withhold from his memory any just praise. We rejoice in the life of Brother Murphy and are assured of his immortality. And now, may the evergreen, the ever-living emblem of our faith, strengthen our confidence and teach us to overcome any fear of death. Let us pray. Eternal God, the giver and sustainer of life, we look to you in confidence and faith, knowing that your love will bring peace and comfort throughout our lives. Help us to be true and faithful to each other, so that we may live and die in love. Let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now may the blessing of heaven rest upon us and all mankind. May brotherly love prevail, and every so social and moral virtue cement and strengthen us. Amen. So Amen. At this time, that concludes our service. Thank you for allowing us to be here.